This is probably one of the most hard carry Liga games ever. We basically had an AI teammate. Jungler made a very questionable early rotation. Their Moscow export got super fed early on. and two teammates ended up with these stats. Now that we know what are the circumstances we have to deal with in this match, let's jump into the gameplay. Right from the start, we got into a situation where our marksman went to the XP lane and our fighter went to the goal lane. This is already super interesting. I usually will criticize another player if they are just inexperienced and trying their best, but this Uranus is literally acting like an AI set in the easiest and dumbest mode ever. I refuse to accept that a human is actually playing him, and if you think I'm too harsh, you will see that I'm not exaggerating if you watch till the end. He was an extremely risky play and with almost no reward at all, because even Saber had managed to steal the buff, he most certainly would have ended up dead anyway. That would not have been a good trade at all. There are certain junglers that can do this kind of aggressive approach in the early game, such as Balmon, Alpha and Fredrin. But Saber is definitely not one of them. By the way, meanwhile their export is free farming, because our Uranus is completely non-existent. Our Estes cannot understand what kind of situation this is. This is gonna be a long game and full of interesting scenarios. Uranus is going top again, XT. I feel you, Estes. Just 2 minutes into the game, and they already have almost 3k gold over us. By the way, I'm just pointing these things out just to show you how severe the situation is and to give you all a much better idea of what is actually happening. It's 06 already. Honestly, I was also starting to lose hope because this seriously seemed like a winnable game. Export is a super broken hero now, and if he gets fed like this right from the start, he becomes almost unkillable until the very late game.
I know that you can use her first skill first, then the second skill like Savior, but I noticed that sometimes it doesn't work properly, so just to be safe, I think it's better to just stick to casting the second skill first and then the first skill. I'm having a decent laning phase, but if you look at the rest of the lanes, we are already at a huge disadvantage. This is what I meant when I said that the first skill first, then the second skill sequence is bugged sometimes. This Vexana doesn't realize that she is visible. XT. And this your Anus is really living up to his name. The only thing he's good at is making shit. Their younger marksmen are dead, there's no way we can lose this turtle, so it's better to push in the middle turret, which is the most important turret in the game, because it opens up the map quite a lot. It will be even better if we can open this Uranus wide open as well. The audacity. The coziest spot ever. Please stop. <laughs> Lilia is one of those few heroes that are not afraid of a threesome, foursome, and even fight some sometime. Damn, they fed this Moskov like no tomorrow. Both him and Export are extremely fed at this point.
This is such an intense and tricky game. Honestly, even though Hanabi is feeding non-stop, I won't criticize her that much because I think she was still trying her best and it was just her lack of experience against one shooters that is giving her such a hard time. She just needs to play more and gain experience. Or she can just watch some amazing YouTubers who explain in great detail about positioning and map awareness when playing the marksman role. Wink wink. Your Anus is a completely different story though. He's intentionally playing like an AI. I don't want to use the word trolling because some people think that's a cool and funny thing to do. By the way, for those who are unfamiliar with Lilia, this tip will be extremely helpful. You can see that I'm aiming my second skill inside the gloom's radius, even though there's no enemy there. But the reason why I'm doing this is because you want to keep chaining her second skill, so the gloom is always at max level. Oof, that was close. But at this point, it's very clear to me that if I'm not playing near perfect, we will almost have no chance of winning this at all. Such a tough match. This is looking extremely dicey. I guess even a bot can be used as a mid shield. Not gonna lie, playing Lilia is not the easiest thing. My eyes have to focus on so many things. The enemy's positioning, my allies positioning, the enemy's HP, my own HP, the gloom's location and the map.
remember, it's crucial to keep the glooms at max level. I was a bit worried about our base, but the Kalita and Export are in no position to split push, so I just decided to cancel the recall. Not gonna lie, I used to think that Lilia was a pretty lackluster mage, and that was mainly my fault because I didn't truly understand her core mechanic. But after this, I can definitely say that she is an absolute beast of a mage, especially after the recent update. And this was such the perfect match to showcase how insane she is. The AIs are so advanced now that they can't even chat like this. <laughs> 